Hey everybody, Martin here with Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. We got another shipment in and another bag of pay dirt. And this is basically part two of Desert Dirt Bags. I just finished his one pounder and posted the video. If you haven't seen the results of that, go check that out and then come back to this video. Now this is his two pounder. It cost $49.95 with free shipping. There is no guaranteed set amount of gold, just guaranteed to have gold. And um, basically his description about the pay dirt says he's a miner, he has a claim, and this is his claim pay dirt. Doesn't say really anything about anything else about the pay dirt itself. He just goes into a whole bunch about how panning it, how panning is, and nothing about the pay dirt. So description, he gets a C minus. Shipping. The only thing that's good for this pay dirt so far is A plus on shipping, A plus on the package, an A plus on the label, and an A plus on customer service. That's what's going good for this company. The intangibles behind it. The pay dirt itself is very dirty stuff. Like I'm not even prepared to actually pan this stuff. It is so bad. Like it is just really mucky stuff. Anyhow. So my first review on the one pounder was a horrible ROI. I'm hoping the difference for this, the difference for this bag, it was a $50 bag. I'm really, really keeping my fingers across. Um, I'm hoping he took care of his $50 customers instead of his $30 customers, but you should be taking care of all your customers. Anyhow, I'm gonna classify this and then we'll pan it. Let's first weigh it up. I'll come back with my weigh results and then we'll classify it. But beyond that, don't forget to smash that like button and that subscription button. And that's about it. I'll be right back with the weigh-in. Okay, it's weigh-in time. Let's see if we got our two pounds, like, guaranteed. No. We're even short on the weight, and this stuff is moist. Holy moly, what else can go wrong? My goodness. Ah. So listen, he's a little shy on the two pounds, even with the bag and the pay dirt being moist as it is. So, score-wise, I'm going to have to give this a B-. minus. That's just the way it's going to be. And if you guys don't believe me, you can see it in the bag. See how it's all wet? This stuff is moist. I mean, I can make a ball out of this stuff. It's cracking. See, when I'm holding like that, you can see that crack right going down there? That's because it's all moist. So, it is what it is. B minus on the weigh-in. Let's classify this, and we'll move on from there. So, I'll be right back. So, before I classify it, the pay dirt is wet. And it was short on the weight. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in this pan. I'm going to let it dry a little, and then we'll classify it. So I'll be right back with the classification. Just want to let you guys know I'm going to dry it out first. It's the best way to do it if you're classifying it. Let it sit out overnight or put it in front of a heater or on top of, on top of a radiator. Or you can always put it in the oven. But just to let you know, it is wet. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Classification time. The only reason you're going to see me emptying it out of this stuff and not the bag is because I already opened the bag and tried to dry the stuff as much as possible. So let's get it going. We'll move from there. So let's get it classified. I'll be right back. Enjoy the show.
All right, everyone. Classification results are in. Let's check it out. Let's discuss it. Let's see what we got. So this is my plus 10, my under 10, over 20, my under 20, over 40, and my under 40, 60, 80, 100 to 300 mesh. Now, there is absolutely, again, zero black sands. And you would think it would be in that. Nothing, not even a scratch on there. Not even a scratch, it's dirty. Again, not even a scratch or a licking. And not even a hot rock, just dirty. Nothing. So, I mean, that is just really, really, really strange. Because we know this is not from a crushed or load mine just because there's so much organics in here. So we know there's no way this is just load mine straight claim because of the organics, the dirt, the weeds, the tree roots, and the whole nine yards. So I'm really flabbergasted on how there is no hematite or magmatite in this dirt. I just don't understand. If it's from a load bear, a gold, a gold rich area, the heavies usually travel with the gold and you'll have black sand, no matter what it is, hematite or magmatite. So I am really confused on that. But it's the very first time I've ever gotten pay dirt from a company that did not have any black sand. So next time, next thing is, um, like I said, it is the most nastiest, dirtiest stuff I've seen yet. So I'm not going to waste my time on this so far. I've already showed you the classification. I already did the video before, the whole nine yards. So we're going to get right into panning it. But what you're going to see while I'm panning it is you're not going to see this. It's going to be clean. I'm going to clean this pay dirt before I actually plant, uh, pan it. So I don't have to go off screen and dump, and dump the water out. I'm going to literally clean all this pay dirt pan by pan and then just have a nice cleaner material for the video. So I'll be right back with the panning session. So hold on, don't forget, smash that subscription button and that like button and also that bell for all my recent notifications. And don't forget to comment. Comment is very, being a commenter is very important. So I see who you are so I can pick you out in the videos so you get your chance at winning the bag of pay dirt. That will be every video, that will be forever. I'm never gonna stop it. So just make sure you put a comment in the video. I'll be right back with the panning session. So hold on.
All right. So we're all done. Let's empty the snuffer bottle. And let's see what's going on here. All right. Should be good. Let's put everything down there. Now, this had less smaller gold than the other one. But we'll see how it is. Let's, let's get our snuff bottle closed back up. And let's get a little water in here. All right. So let's, moment of truth. A little too much water in here. All right. Really, there's no black sand, so I could just tap this off of this. Oh, that all followed. Not this time. Might have to pan just a little. Just a little. Let's see. Get some of that off of there. Piece keeps on rolling down. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's get that to zoom. There you go. So that was in the $50 bag. I'll say that's a quarter gram of gold. And if that's a quarter gram of gold, I. I'm not even, sl I just want to get this over with. <laughs> Let's dry it up, weigh it up, come back to my results and my final thoughts. All right, final results, final thoughts. Let's get this going. Let's see what we got going on. Then we'll speak about it a little more. Let's weigh, let's see if we got our 50 before I calibrate it. Well, all right, let's calibrate it. I said I always will do. Even if I do it before the video, sometimes moving it around. There you go. Got all 50. All right, good to go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Five, four, three, two, one, calling it 0 0.21. Not even a quarter gram in a $50 bag. Oh, I'm just so disappointed. So let's go over the numbers. 0 0.21 grams of gold. So right now, as of 128, 2020, a gram of gold goes for fifty dollars and forty-three cents, and an ounce is fifteen hundred and sixty-eight dollars and fifty cents. So that gold right there, zero point two one grams of gold, is ten dollars and fifty-nine cents. So my return on investment, my ROI, is twenty-one percent. Hey, I beat the eighteen percent. I'm at twenty-one percent. Went up a little more, but in a fifty-dollar bag. I mean, that is pathetic. That is so low, it's actually heartbreaking. I was actually happy to get this review over. I just wanted to get this behind me. Let's hope on, let's hope we move on to greener and brighter pastures because this is just, this is just terrible. So let's look at the gold, the gold that's barely there. There was one little picker. I mean, that was a bright spot. And this time I'll show you up close and personal photos. The last video, the photos were in the back end. Here, I'll have them pop up and you'll see them. But yeah, that's the gold. And that's about it. So my thoughts on the pay dirt, it was dirty. When you saw me panning it, it was clean because I cleaned it before I absolutely panned it, which is a lot of work. I shouldn't have to do that. 
Again, there was no black sand. There was no hematite or magmatite. Totally just blows my mind. There was no hot rocks. There was nothing. Um, there was garnets, which is surprising. There was some garnets. Don't know if they're added or they're natural, but they were there. Um, very easy pan. Gold stays there because everything in there is a light. It just flies right out of your pan. So you will never have a hard time panning this gold. Um, that's it. I'm out of here. Guys, I'm not recommending this. If you see it on eBay, you want to take a shot and see if you get a better bag. It's up to you. But I don't know. It's my job to review them. It's your job to go out and buy them. It's up to you. So I'm out of here. Don't forget to smash that subscription button and that like button. If you want to win, don't forget to uh, sim uh, smash your, you know, don't forget to comment is what I'm trying to say because I need to know who you are. And the winner of this give, of this week, blah, 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 blah. the winner of this upload is Michael Williams. Thank you, Michael Williams. I appreciate everything you do for the channel. I appreciate everything you do, supporting me, commenting. You're in every video you comment, and a thumbs up for that. Um, besides that, I'm out of here. Michael, just PM me or email me your address. Besides that, I'll see you guys on the next review. Um, don't forget, you can support the channel just by going to patreon.com backslash golden pay dirt reviews. And that's it. I'll see you guys again. Peace. The gold that's barely there. There was one little picker. I mean, that was a bright spot.